What's going on guys, it's your boy Mr Woz and in today's video I'm going to show you how to get to 99 fishing. I know there's so many methods out there but in this video I want to make sure you get the most profit and just make as much money as possible. If you are new to this channel then hit that subscribe button and click on the bell for notifications for when I upload a new video. As I mentioned before I'm on Twitch as well, it's Mr Woz OSRS so give me a follow and say hello as I stream most days. Anyway without further ado Let's get into this guide. Okay, in this guide I'm going to show you methods that give you the most profit. The good thing about this skill is you will make money no matter what fishing method you choose, apart from barbarian fishing of course. But it is choosing the right method to fish to make the most profit and I'll explain later on in the video. Before we start there is one thing you can have if you're going for 99 fishing or even post 99 and that is the angler's outfit. The angler's outfit is experience boosting clothing that grants 2.5% additional experience when worn when participating in the fishing skill. Obviously bonus experience is not granted from random events, XP lamps etc. A fishing level 34 is required to wear any piece of the outfit which is quite nice. This is by completing the fishing trawler minigame and players have a 1 in 8 chance of receiving a piece of the outfit that they do not currently own. Alright, so level 1 to 20, you want to fish 447 shrimps. You might not have to fish that many because when you get to a certain level you fish anchovies as well, which give you a bit more XP. So that was just a rough estimate if you was just doing shrimps on its own. But you can fish these south of Draenor Village, and I'll just show you on the minimap now. Now most people use uh, their glory or you can use your house and use the glory there to drain our village and you just go southwest to the fishing spot or if you've just started and you're at Lumbridge all you've got to do is go all the way west and you're here and that's pretty much the best teleports to use I mean you can use Falador as well and come all the way down but it's a bit far away so I would suggest using the Amnit of Glory and yeah so you want to do this from level 1 to 20 and obviously you're going to need a small fishing net as well and doing this will make you a nice small profit of 12k GP okay so from levels 20 to 40 you want to fish around 550 trout the reason why I gave a rough estimate is because when you're getting towards level 40 you will be fishing salmon as well as trout as you can see in my event you've got salmon and trout there so that's why I have gave that rough estimate but if it was trout on its own it would be 656 so I took away 100 or so for that and you can make a small profit of 20k GP. Now what I like about this place is once you've done a full invent, as you can see behind me, there's a fire that's lit constantly. So you can get some cooking XP as well. Um, you can bank these if you want. Um, you can go to Edgeville, which pretty much everywhere everyone goes to. And obviously to get here, you just use your glory to Edgeville or use your house. And you go all the way south and you're here. Or you can teleport to Varrock and go west. But most people use the Edgeville teleport. Also... Uh, you're going to need a fly fishing rod and some feathers to, in order to do this properly. Okay, so from level 40 to 50 you want to fish 713 lobsters and this will make you around 85k GP. Now there is a couple of locations you can fish to do this and first one is in Karamja just here and like I said you can use your glory uh, to Karamja and you're right next to the fishing spot. Now the second option, now this is handy if you have one of these in your house, the Nexus, and you teleport to Catherby, and you're just here. I'm going to show you on the mini map. Don't worry if you don't have this teleport, you can just teleport to Camelot, and you go all the way south, follow the path down, and go east. And you can use these fishing spots just over here. And there is a fairly close bank if you want to bank, and that is. And here you go, there's the lobster spot, and there's a couple down here as well. From level 50 to 70 you want to fish around 6,363 swordfish and this will make you a nice profit of 1.3 mil. Now with this, as you can see in my invent, you will catch tuna at the same time. Now what most people do is drop the tuna but keep the swordfish. Now, you're going to need a harpoon for this and the reason why I chose this location, Jatizo, is because it's very close to a bank and if you don't know how to get here, you can use your Feminic Sea Boots and use the boat and it will take you where I am now. Or you could just use the Relica uh, Teleport, House Teleport and it will take you straight here as well. All you've got to do is run north, I'll show you on the mini map. Uh, where is it? Where are 
there you are. There we go. There you go, you can use the house portal here, go north, follow this path north, and you go onto this dock here, and there's Nate's not, and your Tizo, you want to choose the Tizo, and here you go, you go straight on this bit. Make sure you select this one, because obviously this one is just for sharks only, and this one's for lobsters, cage, and harpoon for the swordfish and tuna. And like I said, once you've done, you've got a bank just north of here, as you can see, very close. And like I said, you can make around 1.3 mil profit from doing this. Okay, so from this moment on, there is a few options to get to 99, but don't worry, all of these will make you a nice profit, but it's just choosing the right method for yourself, and I'll give my personal opinion on what is best. Now, from 70 to 99, you can fish 102,474 monkfish. I know it sounds like a lot, but trust me, you'll make some nice profit. Um, you'll gain around 35k XP per hour and around 100k GP per hour. But in the end, you'll make a nice profit of 30 mil, which is not too shabby. And also, there is a closed bank nearby, as you can see, just here. And also you're going to need a small fishing net. If you don't know how to get here, you can use the teleport scroll to Piscatorius just here. And you just go through this little underpass, through the door, and you're here. You can also use the fairing code AKQ. And them two are the best options to teleport, to be honest. Okay, from level 70 to 99, you need to fish 245,937 Cranbrands. I know it's double the amount as monkfish, but you do fish them faster than monkfish, so you will fish them in the same time, if not faster. Doing this method will grant you around 40 to 60k XP an hour and around 170k GP per, GP per hour. So this will give you a nice profit of 120 mil, which is really nice, and you could do so much with that money. Now, what I like about this place is there's a fairy ring code just outside the fishing spot, which is DKP. Now, if you're wondering how to get these Crown Brand G's, obviously you're going to need a small fishing net and the Crown Brand vessel. All you've got to do is the fairy ring code CKR, and you've got to use this little fishing spot here to fish these, and they're super, super fast. Now, one little tip if you have a crafting cape and a construction cape, or if you have a max cape which has both, once you've done a full invent, I'm not going to do a full event, but I'm going to teleport to the crafting guild, go to the bank, deposit, go to your house, use the fairy ring code, and just continue. It's so fast, you pretty much take 20 seconds to get there. So fast, so efficient, and you're going to make a lot of money doing this. Okay, so now it's up to you which method you choose. The reason why I didn't choose sharks, or anglerfish, or even dark crabs, because one, sharks are way too slow, even at 99, and I've tried it, and you're getting really bad XP per hour, and to catch sharks for a full invent, you're probably looking around 20 minutes for an invent. It's really, really slow. Same with anglerfish as well, very, very slow at 99. Okay, you will make a nice profit of 150 mil, but it's only 30 mil less than doing crambuan, so you can see why I didn't pick them. And dark crabs are in the wilderness, and I didn't pick this method for obvious reasons. So, in my opinion, I done monkfish because it was fairly fairly fast, getting around 30 to 35k XP per hour. But when I was fishing these at the time, the prices were really, really high. So I wanted to make as much profit as I possibly can. But as you all know, the GE prices change every day, pretty much. So, choose your method wisely. But these days, I would choose Karambuans as they are super fast, as well as good money, quick banking, and just really good XP. Now, so like I said, it's up to you at the end of the day, so I thought I'd just make this video to give you guys more of an idea for when you want to get your nightline fishing. There really isn't a right or wrong way of choosing a method. Everyone is different, so let me know in the comments section which method you choose to get to 99, or what method you're considering doing. Um, also, what I did um, not, was not to fish at the exact level you unlock them. I made sure I was at least 5 to 10 levels above to make it much easier and much quicker to fish. So thank you very much for watching my 1 to 99 fishing guide, really hope this has helped you, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you're new, obviously follow my Twitch as well if you haven't already, um, and I'll see you guys in the next one.